What is vitamin B7 and its role regarding cancer? Hello, it's August 1, 2018, and I am Dr. Colleen Huber, here again in this ongoing series on cancer and biochemistry. In each one of these short videos, I give a very brief overview of the role of a particular nutrient with regard to cancer. Today I want to talk about a vitamin that most people have never heard of, vitamin B7, more commonly called biotin. In order to avoid the cancer pathway, which goes off this way, biotin can be very useful. Biotin performs a function that is not often appreciated, that is the conversion of pyruvate directly to oxaloacetate, bypassing the normally essential molecule, acetyl-CoA. That is, it was once thought that after a molecule of sugar converts to pyruvate, then it had to convert to acetyl-CoA in order to enter the mitochondrion and start the citric acid cycle and completely metabolize to give us energy. And that it had to do that in order to deprive the cancer pathway over here. Now, it is known that once that molecule of glucose gets to pyruvate, it can actually bypass that acetyl-CoA step and go straight to oxaloacetate, which is also in the citric acid cycle and in the mitochondria. Now this is perfectly fine and is actually great for normal metabolism. Why? Because no matter if pyruvate goes to acetyl-CoA or if it goes to oxaloacetate, whether this way or this way, it enters the following essential and healthy pathways, the citric acid cycle and oxidative phosphorylation along the electron transport chain here, which is inside the mitochondria. Here is the mitochondria. Okay, I hope I haven't lost people with all that technically convoluted biochemistry, but I do want you to know this essential item. There is more than one path into the mitochondria. Now that is hugely important. It is important because your best defense against the three biggest killers of our time, cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, is this item, the mitochondrion, singular, plural, is mitochondria. Anyway, you may have seen my other videos in this series in which I mentioned that the mitochondria are the powerhouses of our bodies. The Smithsonian estimates that we have about 37 trillion cells in the human body. Each cell has several hundred to over a thousand mitochondria. So let's say we have a quadrillion of these energy engines that we call mitochondria. Nice! Dr. Lee No is a naturopathic physician who explains all about mitochondria and how crucially important they are to your health. Please read his book, Mitochondria and the Future of Medicine. You may remember that this is the cancer pathway over here, pyruvate to lactate. Cancer, as Stephanie Seneff has argued, performs the function of a machine that converts excess sugar flooding down this pathway over here to lactic acid, just to give it a place to run off to. It's a very inefficient pathway. It saps the body of strength. It makes a tumor grab all carbohydrate products just in order to keep growing. In agriculture, I think this is called a drainage ditch over here uh, to capture this flood water or flood sugar, uh, rather. The flood following the storm of a sugar binge coming roaring down this way. So the normal healthy pathway, the one that dries up this cancer pathway, the one that diverts back to normal healthy metabolism comes this way. We learned earlier in this series that vitamins B1 and B5, and actually to an extent B3, are necessary to make the step to convert pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. But now I would like to show you the role of biotin. Biotin enables this other pathway into the mitochondria. Biotin is necessary to convert pyruvate to oxaloacetate. Also magnesium comes in handy at this step. That way, let's say you're deficient in B1 and B5. Then there is another way into the mitochondria. That is another way to detour away from the cancer pathway. And that way requires biotin, not as a luxury item, but as a requirement. Without biotin or these other B vitamins I mentioned, you are forced into the cancer pathway. This is shown by the rare infantile disorder where the infants get lactic acidosis because for lack of a biotin-dependent enzyme, they were forced over here to this pathway to your right. For the rest of us, that means biotin can only be good for us in trying to prevent cancer. Generally, I ask my patients to have the B vitamins together because I think their best value comes in their synergy and preferably the least synthetic possible and from whole food sources when feasible. For a supplementation that works best for you, please see your local naturopathic physician. In the meantime, here is a short list of foods that are high in biotin. And if you have seen my other videos, the top of the list will not surprise you. 
chicken and beef livers, salmon and eggs and cheese, avocados and almonds, cauliflower and sweet potatoes. Hmm, these are similar to the list of foods for many of the other B vitamins, including vitamin B5. Well, it's August 1, 2018. I'm Dr. Colleen Huber, and for those of you who are still awake, thanks so much for watching. And to those of you who made a valiant effort to stay awake for all this, but didn't quite make it, a belated thanks to you too.